Hey guys, your designs here, and then I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up your own Blogger account. Now, um, Blogger is very good for people that want a small website but don't want anything too big, especially if you don't want a domain name or you don't want to pay to make your own blog or your website. So, um, Blogger is from Google. It's a blog website. You just create your own blog. You can create your own templates. Um, you can customize it however you like. And the good thing is, all on your Google account, so you don't have to make an email, an email or something like that. So it's very easy to do. So I'm just going to show you that right now. So let's get started. Um, let's go on to blogger.com right here. You can see it's a great interface. You can see you can log in with your Google account. That's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, so I'm going to log in right here. And then here we are. This is my um, front page. So my dashboard. And I see my profile up there. You can view my profile, edit my profile, edit my photo it notifications or I can just go ahead and view my blog, new post, and a new post in my blog, edit my post that I've already got on my blog, I can set up the comments, um, I can do settings, design and multitask, which is kind of money like AdSense, earning money from your blog, which I do, and stats or your statistics from your blog. So that's really cool. Um, on the reading list you have a blog that you're following, if you want to manage those blogs you can, delete them, add them, make them private if you want to. Um, good blogger buzz, um, so you can make templates, so you can just edit your blog from your mobile instead of actually going onto the computer and editing it there. Um, blogs of note, um, I don't actually know what that is, I'll check that out later. Um, scroll down. Other stuff, so your mobile devices, um, what blogger is available on, iPhone, Android, stuff like that. Tools and resources, AdSense, the blogger blog, um, so Google blog for the blogger, um, Google Reader, Webmaster Tool, and template contributions. And you've got help resources, help center, help group, view tutorials, blogger stats, and known issues, so FAQs, frequently asked questions. Okay, so that's that. So I'm going to show you now is just how to set up your blog and how to get the best out of it. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go into design. And you can see, um, I've got quite a few um, gadgets here, which are actually apps that you can use. But first I'm going to show you how to do the template design. So over here, right here, you can see that you've got template design. Um, so you can edit templates, so you don't click on that. So you can this page. So now you can um, decide on the design of your your blog. To make it simple, um, just a plain background really, it's very boring. Picture window which have a picture behind it, which is very cool, you can edit that if you want to. So this, this is actually my one. Um, I like mine like this. Um, so you get all different kind of themes right here. Let's go down. Not a lot, but they do vary, so you can change them. Background, you add a background to it. I like the um, mountain, you can create anyone from nature like this. Uh, I like actually like, pretty like clouds, I'll do that. Change your main colour theme so it can be black and white, or it can be orange and white, or different colours really. So that's cool, like that. You can adjust the widths of it and the heights and stuff like that. I'm just keep mine like that. The layout if you want your blogs on the left side or the right side, or you want your widgets on either side. And advanced, which lets you change the font and the colour of your whole blog. That's cool. So if you've done that, go apply to blog and then go back to blogger. Okay, now I can see your um, your page elements, so all the stuff that's on your page. For example, if you want to put AdSense on, you can do that, your followers, your Facebook, your Twitter, your blog archive, about you, your logo. If you want people to subscribe to something, you can do that. You can search your blog, popular posts and followers and attribution, which is your copyright underneath the bottom of your blog. Um, okay, so um, to do this, you press press edit. So I'm going to add a gadget for you, edit. Then you can just scroll down, you've got loads of them. You can follow by email, um, popular posts and blog stats, which are all new. Pages, AdSense, where I said earn revenue, earn money, followers, search box, HTML, JavaScript, text, picture, slideshow, video bar, poll, blog list, link list, lists, feed, newsreel, labels, description lists, logos, profile, blog archive, and page reader. Now, the main ones that I use 
are the HTML and AdSense because you know I want their own money. You know. Um, so you go HTML, you press the little um, plus sign there, and you edit whatever you want to do. So for example, if I'm going to add a Twitter, do that. Let's add a new page, and you go to Twitter, and then you go to your resources. Um, my Twitter page loads up. Yeah, okay, so down the bottom right here, see that there is a little page here called resources. Click on that. See, it's the resource page, you can get your widgets and everything like that. So I'm going to get widget. Now, the maximum width of a widget on Google Blogger is 220. So any height, just make sure the width is 220. So you go to my website, go to profile widget, put your name in, so my new designs. I've already got one on my blog, I've just shown you how to do it already. Preferences, whatever. Appearance, you want to change the background. You kind of want it to be a light background. Because, yeah, your blog's going to be like anyone really. Um, shell text, you want to do black. Tweet background, you want to do white. Tweet text, you want to do black. And links, probably like a dark blue, like that. Dimensions, make sure the width is 220. Then, Finish in Grumpy Code, so you copy and paste it into the content box and save it. Then go back to your blog page. You can see Twitter is right at the top, you save, view blog. And you see our blog, my Twitter page is right there. So that's very effective. Now, what you do, you want to take it off, you just press the little um, screwdriver and you just remove it. Simple. Then um, so yeah, this is my blog, your design blog. Um, it's for my website basically and my t-shirts. Um, so if you go down the bottom right here, my Facebook page, my Twitter page, um, my t-shirts are on sale. Go check them out. Your designs.spreadshirt.co.uk. Please go check them out. Thank you very much. Custom design t-shirts. Um, new products I've got. I've got badges and hats in there as well. So that's very very nice. I think you know. And the premiere of Pretty Little Liars season. Two, which is actually out today in America, ABC Family, check it out, 8, 7 Central, go check it out, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, and also what you can do, you can go back to your blog, you can edit your post and your design, um, but really, see people think that blogs are like websites, but they're not. Websites are more social you can do more stuff on websites that like have a gallery and everything but blogs are just simple websites that let you organize your, your posts really like if you look at my blog for example you see that it's in sections what it means it'll be by date if i post one today it'll be different from the one i post tomorrow so there'll be different sections if you've been on my website, you'll see that um, do you know what I'm um, you'll see that my website is not in um, sections like this. It's not in sections. It's just plain you know, straight down. I just divided the sections by little lines. Um, so yeah, I have a blog on my website as well, but again, it's plain. It's in different sections. We don't really see that because there's a really faint line there. So yeah, the only reason 